As the year 2017 comes to a close, we can't help but look back on all that has happened in the sports world this year, the highs and the lows. Now, of course, we did not include the Mississippi State Bowl game victory since we just showed that, but of course, that is a highlight of this year, no doubt. Without further ado, here is the 2017 year in review. 2017, a year of wins, losses, highs, and lows. In his rookie season with the Cowboys, Dak Prescott led America's team to the divisional playoffs where they fell to the Packers. In February of this year, Ole Miss and the NCAA reopened their investigation into the football program, eventually imposing a one-year bull ban. William on the drive. Pull up, pull up. And how can we ever forget the epic moment when the Mississippi State women took down UConn and went on to compete for a national championship? Or how about Ole Miss softball? Hotty toddy Ole Miss wins the SEC championship! Lady Rebels crowned SEC champs. They hosted a regional and advanced to a super regional, all for the first time in program history. While on the links, Ole Miss golfer Brayden Thornberry captured a NCAA national title. Oh. The Mississippi State baseball team under first-year head coach Andy Canizero advanced to the LSU Super Regional, falling to the team he left MSU for. Southern Miss baseball left their mark in 2017, hosting a regional and eventually falling to Mississippi State. As softball and baseball came to a close, it was time to turn the corner to football season. This year, unforgettable from the get-go in July, just two weeks before the start of training camp, Ole Miss head coach Hugh Freeze is forced to resign. Matt Luke is named interim head coach, and after leading the Rebels to a 6-6 six and six record and an Egg Bowl victory, he gets the permanent job. That Egg Bowl memorable for more reasons than just that. Quarterback Nick Fitzgerald goes down in the first half of the game he would miss the remainder of the season. Even more coaching changes after the Egg Bowl. Mississippi State's Dan Mullen leaves for Florida. I don't know if there's anywhere I'd rather be than here. The Bulldogs hire Joe Moorhead. <laughs> Bellhaven's head coach Hal Mummy steps down and Jackson State picks him up as their next offensive coordinator. Let's not forget how high school ball ended. Both Jackson Prep and Pearl went undefeated. Pearl winning their first ever state championship. I told you 600 seven. And Jackson Prep led by coach Ricky Black winning their sixth straight title, setting a new Mississippi high school record. A year to remember, no doubt. 2017, that's a wrap.